so guys it's really simple to do magnify glass effect as you can see at the background so let's do it shift plus a mesh let's add a uv sphere tap to edit mode press a to select everything press s to scale then press on z to scale only on z axis number one front view s press on z to scale only on z axis single left click done press a to select everything press s to scale let's scale it down tap to object mode let's bring it up right click shade smooth then go to object data properties normal auto smooth let's add material to our glass go to material tab then click on this plus icon then click on new let's name it mag glass magnify glass for identification now go to shading tab these are our default shading nodes click on the principal bsdf then press on x to delete it now click on add then search for mix shader add to mix shader then add glossy bsdf and transparent bsdf then glass bsdf then the last one light path glossy and transparent to the middle mix shader and the middle mix shader output and the glass bsdf output will be connected to next mix shader light path ray length will be connected to first mix shader fact and the mix shader output will be connected to material output surface so we are done with our node setting it seems like we have our cool glass but it's not working to make it work go to render properties we are in ev go to screen space refraction check it by default refraction will be unchecked check it it's still not working go to material tab under setting change blend mode from opaque to alpha blend shadow mode to none and the show back face off then check screen space refraction seems like it's working so we have our magnify glass now let's change it to cycle and see that it works or not seems like it's working on the cycle engine too as you can see here press on numpad 0 for camera view let's render and see what we have seems like it's working perfectly let's go back to ev and check there works with ev too if you want to make any adjustment you can change this below as you can see here or you can go to material tab and under setting you can try to change the refraction depth it's totally up to you you can download this file from the description so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial